With the sequentially consistent memory model, let's come back to our parallel program. So a parallel program is making read-write accesses to shared memory. Some of them are for data, and some of them are for synchronization. Now, so far as a sequentially consistent memory model, it does not distinguish between accesses coming from the processors as data accesses or synchronization accesses. It has no idea. It only looks at the read-write accesses coming from an individual processor and honoring them in the order in which it appears and making sure that they can be merged across all these processes to preserve the SC guarantee. So the upshot is that there's going to be coherence action on every read-write access that the model sees. If this guy writes to a memory location, then the sequentially consistent memory model has to ensure that this write is inserted into the global order somewhere. In order to insert that in the global order somewhere, it has to perform the coherence action with respect to all the other processes. That's the upshot of not distinguishing between normal data accesses and synchronization accesses that is inherent in the SC memory model.